Making a tag for a beat or music in three ways is not only based on taking only your music, but it also based on producers who wants to promote who want to promote their work or their beat or those who are selling their beat that's why some of uh, the texts they use them as intros or as outros like get this from niger.com you know uh wetloader.com uh uh i maybe jam music and stuff so some they just use it as intros and stuff which is the first tag and some they just use it as purchase this track or purchase this beat now they use those texts to promote their work whereby they want to reach out to people who might be interested in buying so the texts are, are not limited to only taking for a beat for music but also selling in general is pushing your brand to a next level what is really important is to make sure you understand those who sell those who promote and those you buy at the same time it is good for any brand wow Choose the tag which works for you and make sure you use it more frequently in order to make sure that you use it in a unique way that it is high quality as well as it is smooth. Because in music, if you are not talking quality, then that's that's more likely to be not music. But I want you to understand the differences that making a tag in three ways is all about. So thank you guys. I'll see you guys in another tutorial. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Peace out.